throughout all of history. Athletes have been at the forefront of glory. From the likes of Jesse Owens, Babe Ruth, Michael Jordan, Athletes have shown time and time again what it takes to be imprinted on the grand tapestry of life. In recent years, a new star has been born among the cosmos, Tony Wicket, boasting an unmatched record of 27,365 to 1, Wicket truly remains the last bastion of the great sport of croquet. I'm joined here today by Tony Wick. Zoom in on this. My name is Tony Wicked. And if you can't beat me, you get better than me. I've yet to be able to find someone who's managed to accomplish that. So if any of you out there in TV land think that you can even come close to Tony, I actually wanted to ask you about your upcoming match with Figs Blooming Sean. I actually want to ask you about your upcoming. Here, take this. Okay. Big Boomer Sean, you're nothing but an overhyped, underperforming fraud and don't deserve to be in the same conversation as Tony Wicket. And you, you're fired. Unfortunately for Wicket, however, his time in the limelight was cut short. With Wicket gone from the scene, he left a mallet-shaped hole in the sport, a wound that neither him nor the landscape of croquet could recover from. Uh, please, Blue I just have one question. With Tony Wicket having left the sport, who do you think is going to fill those big shoes? Why you would have to be a fool to believe that there could ever be another Tony Wicked. You would have to be an even greater fool to believe that there should be another Tony Wicked. Set. You ready to start? Me? I was born ready. Can't you see it in my eyes? Uh, no, Tony, I can't. I actually can't see your eyes, like, at all. All right, you can start whenever you're ready. My name is Tony. Wicked. And if you can't beat me well, get better than me. <laughs> I actually wasn't finished. Asking if someone can beat Tony Wicked in croquet, well, that's just like asking, is the sky blue? <laughs> but the, the sky is blue, isn't it? You know, there really was no one better than me at croquet. And I implore you to find someone who can say otherwise. I'm the best. See this? Every sport eventually finds the guy. The shining star that ushers their sport into a new age of popularity and prosperity. Thank you, thank you, Kyle. You know, there really is only one thing left to say at this point. If you can't beat me, then get better than me. <laughs> thank you, thank you.
No, yo, Tony, please sign your autograph. Tony Wicked became Croquet. And Croquet became Tony Wicket. <laughs> okay, can you um, maybe not drink around the equipment? Uh, no prescription set up for this guy. Do that, please. Now, this is the Peace Day, uh, Voila, if you will, of my collection. I remember this like it was yesterday. What a good time. Who, who is that? Oh, him? You see, this is actually the first man who ever played croquet back in 1919, Aloysius Incognito. I, I believe he was 19 at the time as well. You know, this is a little history lesson for all you youngsters out there. And, and I, I believe that the first game was actually at uh, 19 o'clock. You know, this is before AM and PM were invented as well. Wait a minute, what? Why did it say spelling bee on it? And you see, that's actually the thing. Aloysius was actually bullied for making croquet. Personally, I think they were all just jealous. <laughs> he had to disguise the game that he was playing in order to fulfill his dreams. You know, that's, that's called passion. And that's also where the word incognito was invented as well. Yeah, man, I like these glasses and stuff. And you know, that, that was actually why I wanted to you see, I invite you into my home. You ever wish you could go back? <sighs> if I could go back, then I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. <laughs> so then, why cheat? Let me ask you something, Mr. Camera Guy. Why are you making this here uh, documentary? Well, I, I just thought, you know, with the croquet scene the way it is right now, I, I just thought The that... scene? You know, there's a reason why scene is the past tense of see. I am not sure where you're going with that one. Okay, sorry. You know what I see? I see a guy trying to rub salt in the wound. Trying to make a, a quick buck off of some uh, fake cheating allegations. Fake? It's all because of that no good, no talent, no prowess, no expertise, no prestige. Figs Blumenshine. A, a matter of fact, why don't you go interview him? That's a better idea. Wait, wait, tell me. Where are you going? You know, quite frankly, I'm not interested in another media outlet outright slandering my lady. So goodbye, good riddance, and uh, uh, our resort. <sighs> what am I gonna do now? Whoa, Tony, I, uh, I thought you left. <sighs> All right, Jesus. Take a look at this. Oh, who is that? I have no idea. But what I do know is that he's playing croquet. Oh, I didn't know anyone did that anymore. You know, aside from uh, Figs Blooming Shine. But, uh, what? Tony? Hey! Ah! What do you think you're doing out here? Uh, croquet, sir? Okay. Now that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good to You're meet Tony you. Tony Wicket. I just might be. The Tony Wicket. The very me. Oh, the same Tony Wicket who won every Cape Lake Springs tournament back to back to back to back to back to back to back. If to you back. can't beat me. Get better than me. <laughs> Uh. 
Now, uh, what's all this croquet stuff here for, anyways? Well, I was just training for the Iron Mallet Classic. Iron Mallet Classic? Yeah, the very one. I had no idea that old dog was still around. It's news to me. It's not really. Like, they host it every year, and no one really shows up. Now, that's a darn shame. But, I mean, that's why I think I can win. Right? Because... If I just train really hard, then I... Can you teach me? Teach you? Now why in the name of Aloysius would I go about doing something like that? It's not like that would... That would, that would. I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. Kit, you got yourself a deal. Tony, thanks so much. Oh my God. You know, don't mention it. Uh, what did you say your name was again, kid? Smelzin. You said what? Smells it. <coughs> Dude, do you need water or something? All right. Melvin. Let's get to work. And you! If I get so much as even a whiff of slanderous and tan your breath, then I'm going to have to pick one of my bones with you. And I don't know which bone I'll pick. But I guarantee you, it won't be your first choice. Um, alright, well, you're wearing my mic anyway, so I have to, I have to follow you. Whatever. So, Smelvin, you want to win the Iron Mallet Classic. Well, yeah, yeah, more than anything. It's been my dream I've been working on for the past couple of years Co now. Couple of years? Why haven't I seen you on the circuit then? Oh, uh, I, I get nervous sometimes. That's all right, because, kid, you've got nothing to worry about. Now, let's see this swing right here. Right here now? Come on, you got it. Let's see it. Just here? Just. Yeah, ready, ready to see sparks fly. Let's go. Look, I don't know if you've noticed this, but uh, this kid's uh, ixnay on the uh, not very good. Looks like your job isn't so easy after all, huh? You know, I'm not really a big fan of this level of disrespect that's coming out of your mouth right now. Pretty rich coming from you. Excuse oh. me? I mean him. Iron Mallet Classic Champion? Do I look like one of those miraculous workers to you? Uh, you look like Tony Wicket to me. And you'd be absolutely right. <laughs> hey kid, when is this Iron Mallet Classic? Two weeks from today. Can I take your order? Yeah, actually, could I get just six plates of bacon strips? And can I get a chocolate chip pancake, but could you make the chocolate chips like a, like a smiley face? Okay, so six plates of bacon and a chocolate chip pancake with a smiley face? Is that it? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You got it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kylie. You see, Smelvin, as a professional athlete, it's important to keep a very strict and balanced diet. You got, you got to keep your your energy levels up high. It's very important. Strict and balanced diet. Got it. Oh, is that who I think it is? What do you see, the mayor? No, I think I see Figs Blumenshine. 
Keep your head down. Got it? I think so. Good. Oh yeah. Oh, that's definitely Big Blooming Shine. Oh, I'm such a fan. What? Get, get down here. What do you think you're doing? Sorry, I, I was curious. Don't do that again. What a pleasant surprise. Bloom and shine. I thought you were still touring switching. Competition ain't too fierce for you. Oh. And I thought the last time I saw you, I should be in Looks like we're both disappointed. Anyways, it looks like you made a new friend. Oh, me? No, I'm like a student, actually. <laughs> Using young hopefuls to pursue your wasted dreams, Wicket. You don't think I would train this kid out of the, the kindness of my heart and the, the passion for this sport? <laughs> Not for a moment. Now, please, what's your name? I'm Smelvin, nice to meet you. Well, Smelvin, just curious. You wouldn't happen to be applying yourself to the Iron Battle Classic, would you? Oh yeah, no, that's actually the exact one I'm, I'm joining. What a coincidence. I'll be applying for the same thing. Oh, nice. I deeply look forward to humiliating you for the first time. And you, Wicket, for the second. Off you to Zane. Well, uh, looks like you guys have some competition. You, a Figs Blumenshaw fan. Well, yeah, he's honestly like my croquet idol. Idol? What about me? Well, he's not a fan. <sighs> Kid, I'm gonna let you know this. Figs Bloom and Shine is nothing but all lying, cheating, stealing, fraud of a competitor. I think he's suave. I thought you were only going to train during the day. I thought Big Blumenshaw was going to be in Switzerland for another six months. But we're not training right now. We're searching. For what? An actually good croquet player, probably. You know, you don't got to be here. I think it should be around here somewhere. That's it? Whoa, what, what the hell? All right, y'all, I found it. Wow. What is it? This here is my burying treasure. Buried treasure. Very treasure. It's not gonna dig itself. Here, start digging. All right. Come on, put, put your back into it. Uh, woo! All right. Now we can just open this bad boy up and, uh, hey, Tony. What should I do with this guy? Now, Smelvin, who is that? He works here? Coot your phone and get on over here. If you're going to have any chance at beating Figs Blumenshine at that tournament, you're going to need some gear fit for a champion. I've been keeping this here ever since I got banned. With this, well, you've got yourself a plan that's 
That's proven for fools. <laughs> ah, okay, let's 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 open this now. C can I help you? Now let's open up this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, old friend. <laughs> that's, that's my noble steed. Bradshaw. Well, uh, he's a bit heavier than I remember, and uh, of course he's lost a bit of his bit of his luster, but uh, I'm sure he's still good here. Sure. Look, kid, it's not like I can use him anymore. And I just know that Bradshaw's been itching for another fight. So take him. Careful now. I'll admit, Tony, this is pretty impressive. Got anything else in there? Any anything else? Bradshaw! What more do you need? There's this. To my dearest rival, Tony Wicked. <gasps> That's you! Let me see that. Did you think I wouldn't find out about your secret stash? I guess your plan was proven for fools after all. See you at the closet, Fix Blumenshine! Oh, that Fix Blumenshine! He'll pay for desecrating my secret stash! Why would he do something like that? I told you he was a schemer. Smelvin, we're gonna be training twice as hard from now on, all right? Yeah. Sounds, uh, intense. Don't you start now! Is Tony Wicked a better croquet player than Figs Blumenshine? <laughs> now, Smelvin, I need you to run. Got it. That was a, that was a speech of figure. Oh, okay, okay. But before we can get you to run, you gotta learn how to stalk. Well. Observe. How does he do that? The sooner we can get you to stalk like that, the better chance you'll have at that tournament. All right. Let's get it. Yeah. Where is he going? You mind telling me what it is we're doing here? Shh. We're stalking. Observe. Yeah, whatever it is you're thinking is definitely a little... Definitely gotta be something dastardly. I need you to go on over there. And once you find an opening, go for the kill. <laughs> you want me to kill him? No. Well, actually, no. What I need you to do is stalk on over there and throw this in his face. Wait, wait. Where do you even get that? Shh, shh, shh. This will teach you to mess with my things. I can try. That's the spirit. Now go. Change your plans. Let's move.
That would explain your idiotic act. Regardless of what incessant training methods you are employing to prepare that naive, impressionable fool, I can assure you, I will be walking away from the Iron Man Classic victorious once again. Do you know why? Why? We've got the it's fine now. What flavor is this? Apple. Uh oh. I think I'm allergic. Oila! A uh, claw machine. A claw machine? No, this here is a calculated logistical apparatus of winning. Smell the. What the hell are you doing? You see, Smelvin? Precision makes the blank. This machine here separates the size from the cameras. Master the claw. Master your shot. <laughs> see anything you like? Uh, I didn't think that rabbit, actually. Well, you're going to win that rabbit. And you're gonna win the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And the next one? You got it. And you're not gonna stop until you clear out this entire machine, got it? Okay. ourselves a real master of precision on our hands, huh? Am I doing something wrong here? I mean, look, this is exactly how I learned how to play croquet back in the day. Look, maybe he just needs to loosen up, get his name out there, and realize what, what he's fighting for, you know? Alright, listen, listen, here. Four, five, six. One, two, three. I can't hear you, but can you hear me? Hi, this is Barnaby Williams, and you're listening to the Shuffle 1099, the number one radio station in Cape Lake Springs. 172 weeks in a row. But Tony, what if I get nervous? Nervous? No, see, Smoke, there's nothing to be nervous about here. I've known Barnaby for, for years at this point. You know, he's a real friendly guy. All this is... It's a simple little interview to just get your name out there and uh, show off yourself to all the people, you know. Win over the fans, 
We know where the tournament is. Now, come on. Anyways, guys, what I wanted to talk about today was the latest and greatest in sports technology. It's called golf. I know, I know, you've all been clamoring for a new sport ever since the incident of the Iron Mallet Classic. And here it is. Trust me. I think this could really fill the void that's been uh, plaguing our beautiful city ever since. <sighs> oh, sorry, uh, where was I? Uh, oh, right, right, golf. Um, I think golf is the future for Cape Lake Springs. And I, I just really hope that uh, Tony Wicket isn't listening right now, or else he'll be really, really... Oh my god! <sighs> Stay cool, all you classy cats. We'll be right back with the Shuffle 1099. Tony! How the hell are you? Long time no see. Hey, Barnaby Williams, nice to meet you. Barnaby Williams. Hey, what's with the cameraman? Prosperity? Never mind, never mind. All right, Tony, one of my best friends in all of Cape Lake Springs. What can I do for you? Um, we're, uh, we're here for the, um, the interview. Relax. I got this. We're here for the interview? The interview. The interview. Interview. Interview? No, no interview. What I think you're failing to pick up here is that, uh, we're not asking for an interview. We're here for the interview. Well, what I think you're failing to pick up on here is that there is no whoa, whoa, whoa. Have a seat. Sorry for the interruption, folks. I had a um, external circumstance I had to deal with. Um, but I think you'll forgive me, because I've actually, we're going to switch gears a little bit here. I've actually got a very exciting special guest in the studio with me today. Um, he's been here before. Some would even say he's a regular here in Cape Lake Springs. It's none other than Tony Wicket. What a world! You know, thank you for that wonderful introduction, Barnaby. However, I'll be in the passenger seat tonight. Is that so, Tony? Tell me more. I know. I could sit here and talk about myself all day, and I have. You definitely have! <laughs> but I actually wanted to uh, torch on the past, if you will, to my uh, protege, Smelton. You hear that, folks? Tony Wicked's got a protege! He's leaving a lasting impact on the sport, even after being banned! What a world. All right. So, Smelvin, why don't you introduce yourself to the lovely listeners of the Shuffle 1099. Um, hi, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm so... Oh, you are killing me, kid. Come on. They, they need confidence. They want excitement, all right? You gotta give that to me. Let's try this again. Sorry about that, folks. We're having some technical difficulties in the uh, studio today, but we're still here with our special guest, Smelvin. Um, so, Smelvin... Um, what's it like learning from a croquet catastrophe like Tony Wicket? Um, it's pretty, uh, cool. Um, oh my god! They don't need you um umming all over their eardrums. You gotta give me some real content, Smelvin! Get it. You're fumbling it right now. Get your ass. I'll get it. I'll get it. You're sure you're gonna get it this time? 100%. I am 100% confident that I'll answer whatever question you throw at me with no hesitation whatsoever. That is what I like to hear. Let's give this another shot. I am terribly sorry about that, folks. I do not know what is going on with my equipment here today. But, Smelvin, I hear that you're training for the Iron Mallet Classic. Yeah, that is, that is actually what I'm training for. Um, me and Tony are putting in some good uh, prep work. I think we're uh, looking good. I'm just excited to get out there and... Uh, Show the world what I can do, croquet-wise. Now that's what I'm talking about! Alright! So, Smelvin, I hear that Sony's old rival, Figs Bloomingshine, may be competing in the Iron Mount Classic. Now's your chance to give him some real good trash talk. Go ahead, lay it on thick. Uh, hey, Figs. Uh, You've got to be kidding me, Smelvin! 
What do you think this is? This is the Shuffle 1099! That was the big idea here. Why do you keep turning the interview off? You just don't quite get it. Now do you, Tony? You see that monitor? Yeah, that one right there. It tells me exactly how many listeners I have for the Shuffle 199. Now what does that say? Seven. Seven! Back in my prime, I used to have hundreds, if not thousands! Now look where it is! That doesn't really sound like our problem now, does it? You know, Tony, that's exactly what I thought you would say. Do you ever think about the consequences of your actions? Because they are directly affecting the outcome of the Shuffle 1099! Oh yeah? And how's that? Allow me to make it impossibly clear for you, Tony Wicket. No one cares about croquet anymore. They don't care about this show or this backwater town either. Croquet died, Tony, and you killed it. And I'm a businessman. So unless you're going to bring me more listeners, I suggest you and your little friends skedaddle. And you need to learn how to talk on a microphone because I'm surprised that I have any goddamn listeners after that catastrophe of an interview. Alright guys, I, I think we should go. Filthy cheater. And we're back! Sorry about that guys, did you miss me? What a world! Why did you tell Barnaby you didn't cheat? Look, Smelvin. We'll regroup tomorrow. We still have a lot of training left to do if we want to stand a chance against. Oh my god, Tony! What a surprise when he gets you here! Can I get your autograph? Look, kid. I'm not interested in signing anything today. Paid or not. But I've been waiting here all day. I'm not leaving without your autograph. Get out the way! I don't think I will. Where's Melvin? Do we have here slacking off? The Iron Mountain Classic is only a week away, and you want to sit here and watch television? Well, sorry, Tony. Fix Bloomshine was on too. Bloomshine. So Turn it up. Um, ah, uh, get a load of this guy, huh? What a talent! So tell me, Mr. Blooming Child, what's your secret? Actually, Mr. Blooming Child is my father's name. Is that right? What a guy. His father, everyone. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you all, truly. Now, about my secret. It's quite simple, really. If you've ever- You all the things. As I was saying, if you're passionate enough about something, then there is nothing you won't do. 
to accomplish it. My ends have always justified my means. Now that is an inspiring story. Isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, <laughs> that was me, sorry. <laughs> You say that there's nothing you won't do to accomplish what you want. Does that include cheating? Cheating? Cheating. 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 <laughs> Who do you think I am? Tony Wicket? Lift it! Oh, Tony, I'm really trying. I know. If you can't even lift this, how can you expect to... Hello? Again? What do you mean again? I I already went last year. What do you mean it happens every year? All right, all right. I'll be there. God. Change your plans. We're gonna go pack this up here. Uh, ah! What the hell are you doing, kid? So what kind of event is this? Like a, a red carpet? Maybe like another, another interview? Tony? Tony! I'm so glad you could make it! And you brought your friends? Two more than last year? Come on in, the party's just getting started. Jesus Christ. So who are you supposed to be? I'm a figment of your imagination, I guess. So how do you know my dear old cousin? Oh, uh, Tony? He's my croquet teacher. Still at that old tired game, I wish he would just hang it up and move on. Oh, but I'm happy for you though. Yo, Tony, please, please, I can't see your autograph, please, it's all I want. Who do you know here at this party? Um, Brendan, Bradley, Junior, Senior. Please.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Winston. Happy birthday to you. Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? Are you five? Are you six? Are you seven? Are you eight? Are you nine? Are you ten? Are you eleven? Well, look who it is, my old dear cousin, turning thirty. I know, man, you are. I see you're still playing that stupid game, Tony. Croquet? More like cro-gay. <laughs> Glad to see that you haven't aged a day. Mentally, that is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, glad to see you're still wearing that stupid hat. Stupid hat? Oh yeah? Stupid hat. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad to see that you're still wearing that stupid face. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Look, Winston, it's not my fault that you always suck at cocaine. Well, it's not my fault that you always, um, swallowed at okay. <laughs> now, see, that wasn't even a. Who's this goober? What's up, little man? I think I'm taller than you, actually. We gonna have a prom here, dog? Yo, Todd, get him off me. Get I'm him off me. I'm not gonna do this. Time, how quick? You have a fancy camera, you want mine taking the picture, right? Uh, sure. Did you get it? Oh, it's uh, a video. Oh, come on. Quite the party, huh? Just you wait. Gather around, everyone. It's time for Winston's favorite game. Grease, I told you I don't want this version. I hate croquet. I hate it. Oh, dang it. Uh, I'll get him next time, champ. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. What do you do? Don't. Play the game. Winston, we play pin the ball well every year. What's so different this time around? What's so different? This is the croquet version. I say get the golf version. I don't like croquet. I don't like croquet. Wait, why can't I play? Nobody's ever been able to pin it just right. And if you don't, Clarice gives you a plate of her infamous meatloaf. No. Oh yeah. Clarice always says she feels bad for you if you if you mess it up in order to cheer you up, but the only people I feel bad for are the ones that actually eat it. Winston, you're gonna love it just like you always do. No! What would mom say about that? Anyone else wanna play? It's I'll fun! Play. Oh, excellent! Alright, are you ready? Start, start, start! Someone tell me what happens. I can't look. And go. Going on a trip. Wait, 
Why? Just a small one, but uh, something's been off about Bradshaw ever since I dug him up that night. Wait, I thought I dug him up. Just can't quite seem to put my finger on it. Fortunately, I know exactly who would. So I'm going to meet him. Really? Who? Stupid camera hat making me haul this piece of junk around just so we can. Hey, you. Hello. Just hold this and just uh, follow me around. Okay. You got that? Who, 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 who are you? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm getting paid for this, right? <laughs> Never lose your charm, Florida. Ah. Hello? I'm here to see Alfonso Chesterfield. My name is Tony Wicket. Hello? You know, Alfonso Chesterfield, Cape Lake Springs. If you can't beat me, then get better than me. Hello? Is this thing even on? I swear to God. Is this thing on? I said Alfonso Chesterfield. Can you even hear me? Hello? Hey! Don't you talk back to me! Finally, uh, better not mess up my order. And better come with a toy. I don't need anything. What? Well, I need something from you, actually. What? What is it? It's me, Tony. Tony who? Tony, Tony Wicket, you know, remember from uh, from back in the day, you know, Iron Mallet Classic and, and all that? I don't know, not Tony Wicket, but anyway, you want to come in? I would love to come in. Bring it here. Yeah, thank you. Bring it here. Come on, come in, dude. Excellent. I wonder what Tony's up to right now. Probably being the same old Tony. I hope he's actually using the camera I gave him, because I really wanted to... For what? Ah! Good afternoon, Smelvin. Hey, thanks. Do you mind if I sit down for a little conversation? Can I finish eating my cereal? Oh, of course, whatever you're... Little heart so desires. Now, a little birdie told me that you are quite a big fan of mine. Yeah, I guess. Oh, has Tony Wicket finally brainwashed you? What are you getting at, Figs? What I am getting at, a relevant accessory, is that Tony Wicked is a fraud. I mean, think about it. What have you even learned since being under his tutelage? I don't know. With me teaching you, you would go on to win more championships than Tony Wicked could ever dream of. You think so? I know so. I help you. And in exchange, you help me. What do you mean, Figs? I train you to the best of my abilities. 
And for me, you just have to throw the Iron Mallet classic. I want him to lose? Just this once. Just this once, and then you can go on to win as many championships as you so choose. What do you say, Smelvin? Smelvin. Smel Smelvin. Smelvin, come back. Come back right now, Smelvin. Tony, what are you doing here? Well, AC, I actually came to ask you something. AC? AC is outside. He's not inside. No, you're AC. My AC? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, you're AC. Okay, what's the problem with my AC? Do you have that old tournament footage? Yeah. Wicked lines at the shot. He's got it in his sights. And he's done it! Tony Wicked has just captured a sixth Iron Mallet Classic Championship. What a remarkable talent. Truly one of a kind. I don't think we'll ever see anyone as good as him ever again. So enjoy this. Keep up Kate Blake's brains. Why do you want to see these for? Huh? Oh. Game with Fitz Blumenthal. Right there, right there. Go to the second half. Now, uh, here we see Tony coming back to the field after our break here as he has handed his trusty mallet Bradshaw by his opponent, Figs Bloomingshine. What a display of sportsmanship from Bloomingshine. Tony now taking the shot. And a direct hit right on the money. I'll put Wiki in the lead for now and uh, oh hang on a minute here. Our official seems to have spotted something. It's not a bit of carbon fiber in it. Uh, oh no. And the ref has called it. Figs Bloomingshine, as a result of a disqualification, has usurped the throne of Tony Wicket. How the mighty have fallen. What a nightmare for Tony Wicket here today. Film like I asked you to? Yo, what just happens? Ladies and gentlemen, it's really shaping up to be a fantastic tournament. Will Smelvin be able to topple the Blooming Shine Dynasty? We'll just have to wait and see. Man, I love croquet. So much better than golf. I've been trying to tell you. Are we there yet? Maybe that's not the French. French uh, is made of wood. Not that fancy schmanz carbon fiber twig. That material stain on our gray spot. Today 
don't ever make any more of them. Now, why would I go about doing something like that? That mallet is a genuine one of a kind. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't necessarily say it had to be you. Now, Melvin, what do you see out there? Uh, a whole lot of buildings. Ah! No, what you see is croquet. That building out there, croquet. That tree over there, croquet. That car down there, croquet? Back in my heyday, this is where all AC taught me his ultimate move. Here. Hey, new mallet. Look, Bradshaw's been gone for a long time. So there's no point in worrying about him now. What you need to be worrying about is the Mallet Buster 97. You know how to do the Mallet Buster 97? <sighs> well, no. Not even, not even slightly. Great. It's the one move I can never quite figure out. But, I'm not gonna let that stop us. After all, you hit 100% of the shots you don't miss. <laughs> what? Visualize this closely. Take a good look. Look, what do you see in there? Um. Come on, one more. One more rep, you got another one in you. I, I know you, I know you got one. If you can visualize croquet, you can tell me exactly what hand it is. That one. Ah. Steady, steady. Watch your technique. Okay. There you go, there you go. Come on, lift it. Come on, you got it. You got it. I can feel the croquet within you. What do you see in there? Croquet. Croquet, yes. Now, that hand. hand. Yes! It's all about technique. It's, that's the key right here. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. You got one more rep left in you. I know it. Come on, get it. Get it, Miss Day. Come on! Come on! I don't think I'm a fixed woman trying to fan anymore. Beautiful day. Ah. You smell that? It smells like croquet. <laughs> Is that, that pasta in your mouth? You know, I was just about to say something very profound, but uh, you just like to ruin things, don't you? All right, look, I'm sorry, man. We'll, we'll cut it and, and do another take. <sighs> ah. You smell that? It smells like croak. <sighs> now it's just lost all of its punch. All right, look, man, I, I already said I'm sorry, okay? Wait a minute, what, where's Smelvin? All ready to go! Woo! Kinda of smells like croquet. Everything we've been working on pays off here today. Remember what you've learned, keep your head in the game and you'll walk out of here as Iron Mallet Classic Champion, all right? Uh, yeah, I uh, got it. Uh, yeah, I got it. Where's your croquet spirit, kid? 
I'm just trying not to crash the car. Oh, cr crash smash. Just give me some more robust. Yeah. Yeah, again. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah, man. The IMC was a couple days ago. Well, I guess I'll go back to work now. Now, wait just a minute. You're gonna let us in right now. Why would I do that? I already told you the IMC was a few days ago. You should try again next year. You might have better luck then or something. I hate minimum wage workers. Why would you even say that? So, what now? Tony, you literally did this two minutes ago. What else am I supposed to do? We missed the only tournament in Cape Lake Springs. So unless you want to wait another 363 days, then we're out of luck. What about my climax? Always thinking about yourself. Huh, Mr. Camera Guy. You could care less if Smelvin misses out on his opportunity at greatness, as long as you get your juicy little story. No, that, that's not what I was trying to say. You look me in my eyes, Camera Guy. You want a climax for your little project here? Well, then feast your eyes on this. You can put that on your little poster or whatever. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, and then he was going on about how there was like a schedule change, so then I wouldn't be on the same day. Oh, Tony, yeah. Huh, okay. Uh, well, I was just talking about how the only reason we got the day wrong is because of what that kid told me. Kid? Yeah, you know the kid who only wears the white hat with the goggles? Kind of weird kid. <sighs> Smell it? Yeah. Get the car. So you think he's here? Oh, I know he's here. Observe. I am Thomas Wixenden. I don't care. This is not here. Well, I'll be. All right, well, let's uh, van moose on out of here. Maybe we can. Uh, All right, see guys, let's get this party started. Wrong day for the tournament. What's up? Yo, silent treatment, huh? Smelvin, get the mallet. Got it. 
Yo, chill, 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 chill. I was just doing what Figs Blooming Shine told me to do. Figs? Blooming Shine! You know, after you ate a page out of my notebook last week, I didn't want your autograph anymore. I just wanted revenge. And what sweeter revenge than ruining your last chance at relevance? The perfect crime. Wow, don't you have like a hobby or maybe a job you could apply for? L leave it, Camerhead. We're going to see Blumenshine. He's not there. I already checked four times. Well then where is he? Like I tell you. Look, do I gotta bring out the mallet again? There's only one way I would tell you. Just sign it. Not happening. Just get it over with and sign it, man. Look, there is absolutely no way that I'll be signing anything for that delinquent over there. If you don't sign it, then, uh, Figs Blooming Shine's a better croquet player than you. Get Well, this is actually my 22nd Iron Mallet Classic win. But, you know, I'm getting pretty close to Tony Wicket's previous record. Now, this, this trophy is a bit smaller than the ones Tony used to win. But give it a few years and croquet as you know it will be mine too. Moment, son! Wicked. What a pleasant surprise as I'm sure you're aware. What on God's green earth are you doing here? Is this how you get your sick kicks, Blooming Shine? Manipulating our, our young impressionable youth to, to do your dirty work while you just sit there and, and reap all the benefits? When's the last time you even played against someone in the Iron Mallet Classic? I haven't the foggiest idea of what you're insinuating, Wicket. You knew that you couldn't beat Smelvin, and so you devised a plan to not face him at all. All of your trophies, all of them are frauds of what they really represent, including this one. I wouldn't be careful before you delve any further into this matter, Wicket. You were a fraud then. And you're a fraud now, and I'm gonna make sure that everyone in Cape Lake Springs knows about it. And don't even get me started on what you did with Bradshaw. That is quite enough, Wicket. What is this? You're, you're threatening me with a with a mallet now? Oh. A mallet blaster. You wouldn't. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot me. Is that thing even real? Oh, I can assure you, it is. Now I have a hole in my ceiling. So you would rather shoot me than face Melvin and Croquet? You know what, Wicket? For once in your life, you've made a good point. And since I'm feeling generous, I propose to you A challenge. If Smelvin can hit one singular shot, I will relinquish the trophy. Really? If you can make it blindfolded. Right here, right now. You're on, loser. But wait, don't we, don't we need a referee though? Ready, sir. You were saying, you, bring that camera. I want this broadcast on every screen in town. Do or die, Smelvin. All right, kid. This is for all the marbles. Don't allow your training to go to waste now. Do 
Hazard! He's not a very fast player, is he? Hey! Don't you talk about my protege like that! Man, is he slow! He's, he's not doing what I think he's doing. It's now or never. Well, it looks like we're done here. I'll be taking this. The competitor did not make contact with the ball. Therefore, a stroke was not completed. This forces a redo. What? Uh, unbelievable. <laughs> Wait, I, I thought that was supposed to count. Not for croquet. What do you think this is, golf? <laughs> I hate you. Look, kid, I'm not gonna sugarcoat you. Where in the name of Aloysius were you thinking? Wait, get up. Get up. I don't know. I, I was just feeling it. How about you feel the trophy uh, when you hit this shot, okay? Alright. Alright. Look, there, there's not even anyone here uh, to watch. Who are you trying to impress, kid? Well, you're here to watch. Kid, if you hit the Mallet Buster 97, I'd hate you. Because that would mean that you're better than me. I'm sorry. Don't be a hero. Be a winner instead. All you gotta do is just hit a normal shot. Got it? I got this. You think that you can just make one elementary level shot and just become the Iron Mallet Classic Champion? Do you think you truly deserve that? Well, I mean, isn't that like the rule you just came up with? Go. Oh. I think it's time oh. that you both get out of this building or I will be forced to <laughs> free Blooming Shine. What the hell? Agent Pesticide, Cape Lake Springs, oh. Secret Police Croquet Division. What? Agent what? who? What? But, 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 the, how, how can this be? You're my personal referee! And my secret mission has been to investigate the disappearance of a certain purple mallet. Bradshaw! What? You, you, you cannot seriously be insinuating that I had anything to do with that, with that absurd disappearance. I, I am a respectable member of the Cape Lake Springs Croquet Community and... Bradshaw! Turn around, Blooming but, Shine. But I was just, I was just investing, I was just admiring the woodwork. It was, there was nothing wrong with it. It was, it didn't, no, you can't do this to me. Tell it to the judge. Oh, you know, I just can't thank you enough, Mr. Agent, sir. You know, I, I thought the, the original Bradshaw, the real Bradshaw was, was lost to time forever. You know, and I can't be more happy with the. What? What? <clears throat> Stopping someone outside of their home trespassing on someone's property, desecrating a grave site, stealing an apple pie, aggravated assault on a minor, money laundering from a claw machine, harassment of a niche micro celebrity. Shall I continue? Well, I wouldn't consider Blumenshot over here a celebrity. Oh, fuck. That'll be enough, Wicked. Please turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're coming with me. You too. Oh, 
You can oh, I'm not bringing you come. I'm not bringing you this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, oh, my You know, croquet changes a man. One day you're just this little boy who can hardly even, you know, grasp the mallet. And the next day, you have the late great Aloysius staring in your eyes. Time just moves differently when you're playing croquet. I just wish Tony was here to see this. Ah. Afternoon, crew. T Tony? The very me. What? I, I thought. I thought you were in jail. Oh, I was. I was. But uh, look, it's Tony. You remember him? You're not reacting. Look, Tony. Kid, guess who helped me break out? Who? I'm recording handcuffs. <laughs> uh, it's like I always say, if you can't beat me, If you don't, if you can't beat me, I, I messed up my own line. <laughs> to back, 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 Tony, you literally did this two minutes ago. <laughs> Look, kid, I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> Still playing that dumb game, Tony? Oh, sorry. Trespassing on someone's property, descending, ah! <laughs> <laughs>